Good morning, Ram owners. Um, making this short little video to post for you all because uh, when I was out looking for, you know, sun visors and floor mats and different accessories for my truck, there wasn't a lot of video, wasn't a lot of pictures. So I wanted to do that because I know I was looking for them. So I thought some of you might also um, be looking for some of these materials. So uh, I have a 2020 Ram 3500. Uh, mega cap dually uh, got the ASN high output uh, 6.7 so uh, limited package uh, all the bells and whistles only thing I didn't get was a sunroof so uh, just something I never used and it's small anyway if there had been a panoramic option I might have considered it because that does look cool but really it's just another place for heat to get in and we all know about the air conditioning complaints with this so um, first thing we're looking at is the uh, windshield uh, sunscreen. Uh, this one is from WeatherTech. It is TS1192. Um, made in America, so I like that. Um, fits pretty darn good. I've had heat shield in the past. Um, love those. Good heat protection and blockage. Uh, this one is of the same quality, thickness, and material. Um, it is silver reflective on one side. Uh, hopefully you can see pretty well the uh, fit of the sunscreen in place. Um, the other thing is, is I also have a uh, ceramic 80% uh, tint on the windscreen. So um, that helps block out a lot of the UV heat, but this also reflects it back. So um, the back side is black. To, uh, to use in the winter time to hopefully keep the windshield from freezing up icing over uh, but you can see the fit and finish here of all that's of all of it I mean it's without the visors down it holds in place real well um, you know this large thing here is a little awkward but you know that's it's not gonna be perfect right um, can't be too much I don't think so um, real well made I believe um, fits nicely and of course if you put the sun visors down should hold it in place uh, without any issues so haven't used it a lot yet uh, it is the 5th of May happy Cinco de Mayo here in uh, northern Colorado so it's still nice and cool out um, but you know that UV heat Protect it when you park in the parking lot. I think it's going to help. <clears throat> uh, the next feature or uh, addition I got was the uh, WeatherTech floor mats. Um, I've had these in my previous vehicles. Uh, they all worked really well. Uh, I know a lot of people like the Husky liners and things like that. I just couldn't find the Husky liners for the whole vehicle. Uh, they had them for the front. They had a hump cover but they didn't have the full back protection so I just didn't want to wait any further um, I know these were uh, work well for me I know they're a little bit firmer um, and after a little while they start to hold dirt and they're not the easiest to clean I haven't tried anything like back to black or anything like that to clean them up of course I don't want it slipping under my feet either so um, but you know it's a truck so you live with it looks pretty good though in my opinion uh, also the other thing about the 2019 2020s is the floor mat snap pads where these attach used to be you know there was a loop and a hook would come in here and um, those worked well um, you could get debris in there and everything like this but these snap uh, and they have the marker there and so they're made like the OEM floor mats I really did love the limited floor mats um, because the carpet section in the center um, snaps up so you can clean them real well. Same type um, rubber, hard plastic type material. Um, so I'm sure the clean, but, but it had limited in there. So it looks pretty good. Uh, but these look real sharp too. Really well form fitting. Um, will capture. Uh, and with this new snap pad in place, I don't think they'll have some of the minor uh, options of holes of debris and water, mud, slush getting under there and getting in the carpet. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I did put them out in the sun for a little bit. Uh, so 
you know, once in a while you can do that. Let the heat them up and they'll soften up and fit a little bit better, I think, uh, from after being in packaging and stuff like that. Um, but they're meant to hold their shape, so I think they're done fairly well. They uh, cover up the sill plate here slightly and then fits right under the door here. So when you close it, um, it does a real good seal. Um, the next, you know, continuation of this is the for the rear. <clears throat> On the Mega Cab, you know, we don't have the fold flat seats. These seats come down. Uh, and so this is why this space is here. That's why you won't really find under seat storage um, options, although you can put some things in there if you want to, but then you can't fold the seat down flat. You can certainly bring this seat down like this and have this space. Um, but then the other option is that this goes up and I need to move the seat up, but uh, with the headrest in place anyway. You can take the headrest off and you wouldn't have to move your seat, but then this kind of folds flat here. Um, so with that, we have um, the WeatherTech floor mat for the rear comes all the way down to the back here, capturing some of that dirt, especially with kids and dogs. They'll maybe put it here. So that protects a little bit. And so I like that. Again, covers the sill plate, gets under the door, comes all the way around, uh, has this cut out for your um, HVAC blower here. The hump will well. Um, matches up here very well. Um, has a little lip on the back that captures. So again, snap pads in the rear or snap attachments here, they uh, work very well as well. So all in all, I like it. Um, and uh, to me, great fit and finish, easy to clean out. I can keep my uh, OEM floor mats uh, pretty pristine. Uh, should I ever want to put them in, especially in the summer. I might want to do that, but we're RVers and I have dogs. Um, so we get in places where we may be wet or muddy <clears throat> and being that this is limited, you know, it's all leather and, and nice. And so I try to protect it as much as I can. Uh, with that being said, uh, the other piece that we have that I want to show you is the rear seat cover. Um, so I'm gonna lay these down flat. We'll go around the truck here. I got the uh, bed step here too. Real nice feature. Helps you get in and out. You know, Ford has the integrated tailgate step, um, which is a nice feature. Um, I like it. Uh, however, um, I've dinged my tailgate before and had to replace it and it was expensive enough without that integration. So uh, something else, but um, so we'll do the same here. Lay the seat flat. And you see I got some stuff, stuff back here. Love this temporarily. So you can see, uh, it might be hard to see with the sun, but uh, folds flat. Use your plenty of storage if you like. We run this side down, the two seats down. Uh, and we let my dogs get in here when we go out. And uh, my son rides in the third seat behind the driver uh, in the upright position. But for the purposes of what we got today, another WeatherTech product is the cargo cover. Um, you're familiar with these, with SUVs and things like that. Uh, I got this one for the back of my truck and we'll put it in. So. Doing this one-handed, so pardon me for the awkward few seconds here. But you can see you don't need a degree to install this. We'll get squared away here. Go to the other side, tighten it up. One thing I'll show you 
is on the underside of this are uh, hook and loop Velcro uh, attachments that uh, hold it in place so it's not sliding around. Um, again, you know, I haven't fitted it perfectly, but you can see where it has that raised lip all the way around the edges. I gotta fix that. Tuck that in, but real tight finish. Um, goes all the way to the edge here. Only thing left exposed are your headrests. Of course, those come off. <clears throat> so, if you don't have a rear passenger, if you just got cargo or dogs, I think this is a real nice compliment. Will protect the back side of your seats because you all know the dog hair out of this carpet is difficult. Um, so, real nice fit and finish. Um, here's that hook and loop, like I said. So they got a few of them here, front and back, both sides. So it keeps it pretty well attached. Um, all in all, it looks great. My plan for this, like I said, I got two dogs and a son. And so I'm going to measure where the seat comes, the two seats meet and cut that. Um, and then slide that extra piece underneath it and I'll get some other hook and loop uh, and, and attach it and then I can just Velcro it when it's in place or whatever, something like that. Or I may just leave it, um, but I'll cut it so I can tuck it underneath and keep these two seats down, have the protection and then also have that third seat up uh, so my son can ride. It's not ideal, but they don't make one to fit these two seats. WeatherTech, if you watch this, for us uh, truck owners and mega cam owners, we would like a uh, a shorter version if you're so inclined if there's enough buyers i'm happy to demo that for you wink wink all right but uh all in all great material great products made in the usa which right now is very important in my opinion um and uh just wanted to share that for you thanks <laughs>